Jerry of the Circus. For Jerry of the Circus. Patsy, you mind sliding that butter up this way, please? Surely, Bump. Here, Jason, hand us the bumps. Here you are. Help yourself. Thanks. How are the potatoes holding out? There is some down at this end. I pass them along to you, Jerry. Oh, thanks, Carmen. Uh, how many potatoes have you had, Jerry? Only two. <laughs> Only two? But they were little ones. Jerry's trying to build himself up so he can become a strong man with the circus. Ah, <laughs> oh, quit always kidding me about how much I eat. Oh, oh, we've got to have our laugh with our meals, Jerry. Is it age digestion? Yeah, but why pick on me? Well, you're, you're not exactly on a diet, you know, Jerry. Then never mind the potatoes. Oh, no, Jerry, you can stand a little kidding. <laughs> Come on, have one of these nice brown potatoes. They're awful good. You're telling me. Well, <laughs> <laughs> your friend Tom is quite a waiter, Jerry. He serves very well. Sure, he can do most anything. Well, uh, how are you making out, Carmen? You got enough of everything down there in your end of the table? Oh, yes, thank you, Bump. I have plenty. Jason? Yeah? Look at Here comes Tom with that box with a bouquet of vegetables for Carmen. Now the fun's going to start. Not a word, Jerry. We don't want anybody to know we had anything to do with this. Thank you, Tom. Well, who's your admirer, Carmen? <laughs> That's sure a pretty box of flowers. I have an idea who this is from. Hey, look, she's opening it, Jerry. Why? Hello. What is this? Someone is played joke on Carmen. Onion, turnips, all vegetables. This has gone far enough. I will not stand for such thing as this. Oh, I haven't seen a, a vegetable bouquet since I was a boy. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Carmen doesn't think so. <laughs> I have never been so... How do you call it? My face is red. I will not allow to be made a fool of. <laughs> Here comes the major now. Boy, is he in for it. Watch the fur fly, Jerry. Good evening, everybody. Whoa, oh, hello, Major. Hello, Major. Major, Major how are you? Come here, please. Mm, certainly, Carmen. What can I do for you? What you can do for me? Listen, Major. I will not be made a fool of. The idea of sending me onions in a pretty box. And all the people in this circus, they laugh at me. Carmen Bendini, no stand for this kind of joke. What's that you say? Onions? Oh, you make like you don't know, huh? You cannot fool me. I know who sent this box to me. No, Carmen, correct yourself and let me say something. There is no use for you to say something, Major. If you open your mouth... You only put your feet inside. Now, please listen to me, Carmen. You I... try to tell me you not send these vegetables? Exactly. I had nothing whatsoever to do with it. Please believe me, Carmen. I like you. I like you ever so much, and I wouldn't humiliate you this way in front of everybody. Then you make somebody else to send this stuff to me. No, I didn't. Then if you please, Mr. Major Mike, tell me who sent this. No, I don't know. But I'll tell you this. I'm just as anxious to find out as you are. The idea of anyone putting me on a spot like this, and especially with you. If you can prove to me you not send this stuff, I forget. All right, Carmen. You'll just leave it to the Major. I'll find out who pulled this stunt if it's the last thing I do. All right, Major. You'll find out who does this thing, and then you and I together, we fix him, whoever it is. I pledge my word, Carmen. I'll get to the bottom of this, and I'll get to the bottom of it quick, too. Oh, oh. Oh, the lights. Well, what seems to be the trouble? They flickered, didn't they? Yeah, I guess the boys are still working on that generator. Is the generator acting up? Yeah, Patsy. 
They're having a little trouble with it. The men are trying to get it to hold out until they can get some new parts for it sent to us. Well, I hope I have plenty of lights when I'm up high doing my turn. Hmm, don't we all? Well, Jerry, uh, you had enough to eat? Uh-huh. I'm finished and full. Ah, uh, good. Then let's get on over to the wagon, huh? Got to start getting ready for the show pretty soon. Well, uh, see you later, folks. And I hope those lights are all right when you're working tonight. Thanks, you Bumpy. Bye. So long. Too. going on in a minute. Hey, Bumps. Uh, yes, Jerry? Should I put Rags's collar on him? Uh, yeah, go ahead and fix him up. Your boy, come on. <laughs> you know, Rags, I think you're stage struck. I never in my life saw anybody who was as anxious to act as you are. <laughs> Hold still now. Gotta make you look pretty with your big ribbon collar. Well, you all set, Rags? <laughs> all set and raring to go. <laughs> well, here we go. We're on. <laughs> come on, Rags. Come on, boy. You a good show now. Who are you telling to do a good show, Jerry? Oh, hello, Patsy. I just told Rags to do his best. <laughs> well, doesn't he always give a good performance? Oh, sure, but I always say that. Say, how are the lights holding out? Okay, I guess. They must have the generator fixed all right. Well, I'm surely glad they were working when I did my turn. All the time I was up there on that trapeze, I kept thinking how awful it would be if the lights went out and there I was in midair. You'd just fall into the net. You've done that before. That's true, Jerry, but I wouldn't be able to see how far the net was. And I might not be able to turn my body so as to land on my back. You know, I told you a long time ago how important it was to land just right in that net. Say, that's right. It's dangerous business working without lights. And that goes for any of the acts. Well, the Mandinis are through, so they can't get hurt. Now all we have to worry about is Jason's turn. Oh, there's nothing to worry about. The generator's been fixed now. The lights haven't flickered since we were having dinner in the mess tent. Oh, I hope you're right, Jerry. Anything new about Major and Carmen, or are they still angry? Oh, there's plenty new, Jerry. I was just talking with Carmen a while ago, and I found out some things that really scare me. Oh, what's the matter? Well, it's not about the Major, but Carmen has been getting notes telling her to leave the circus and threatening her with all sorts of terrible things. Well, who's sending them to her? She doesn't know. She hasn't told anybody about it except Carlos and Alfredo. They're trying to find out what it's all about. What do the notes say? Well... One of them warned her to get out of the circus or there would be acid put on their tight wire. Are oh, you fooling? Now, Jerry, I wouldn't fool about a thing like that. I'm telling you the truth. I saw the note myself. Carmen showed it to me. But who'd want to do a thing like that? Why, acid would eat the wire. What? They'd get hurt or maybe killed if it broke when they were up there working on it. That's just it. It's serious. And Carlos and Alfredo were very much upset about it. Well, don't they have any idea who could be sending those notes? No, they, they can't think of anyone who might be an enemy. And then the funny part is that the notes are just to Carmen and not to her brothers. Somebody just has it in for her. Hello there, Patsy. You watching the star turn of this opera? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Bumps. Jerry and I were talking so much we forgot to watch. <laughs> well, you see there, Rags? <laughs> we're being slighted. <laughs> Patsy was just telling me about... Oh, is it all right to tell Bumps, Patsy? Oh, I don't see why not. Well, what's up? Sure, go ahead, tell me. Well... Carmen has been getting threatening notes telling her to leave the show or she'd get hurt or something. Uh, what's that? Yes, Bums. Someone is out to make trouble for Carmen. Well, no, I don't think anyone will get very far making trouble for Carmen with her two able-bodied brothers around. Well, it's not so good, though. Carlos and Alfredo are pretty much concerned about it. They're trying to find out who's sending the notes to Carmen. Here, 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 here Rex. Now, keep out of the way now. That Rusoff troop will be out in that track in any minute. Now stay right where you are. <laughs> you don't have any idea who might be, do you, Bums? Why, well, no, Patsy, I... Just can't imagine anyone doing a thing like that, especially to Carmen. Boy, she's such a nice little person. I wonder why they, I mean, I wonder why whoever it is wants her to leave the circus. Well, now, see, that's something to work on right there. Goodness, Bumps, look at the way those lights are flickering again. Hey, they're more than flickering. They're blinking on and off. Gee, this is going to be bad. All those horses running around there at terrific speed and the lights going on and off. Here they go on steady again. Gee, I hope they stay on. I wonder what the trouble can be. I've never seen the lights act this way before. Well, come to think of it, it's the first time I've ever seen them out of order. The men that run that generator usually keep it in tip-top shape. They care for that thing like it was a baby. Jason said some certain part is worn out and they can't get a new one here. So they have to wait until they can get the part sent on. Oh, 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 oh. There they go off again. Oh, this is awful. I wouldn't, wouldn't want to be on those horses now. Bumps, Jerry, are you still here? Oh, yes, Patrick, we haven't moved. 
We better stay put until the lights go on again. Now they're coming on again. They were sure out a long time. And those Cossacks didn't even stop riding. I guess those horses are so used to doing their turn, they just keep right on going, whether it's light or dark. Well, this makes me feel awfully uneasy, Bumps. It's so risky. Hey, now, now look at that. Here, there they go, blinking again. Oh, well, isn't there some way we can get electricity to run the light? No, I suppose so, Jerry, but I guess it'd take time to get some lines rigged up to the city current. Well, hello there. Looks like we're having some excitement with those lights acting up. Yeah, it's bad, Jason. It's almost time for your act, Jason. What are you going to do? Well, I'm beginning to think that Patsy's worried about you, Jason. Well, I'll admit it, Bumps, I am. There's no telling what those lines will do if the lights go out and the audience starts screaming. They may get so excited that you won't be able to control them, Jason. Now, don't you worry about that, Patsy. I'll be able to take care of myself. Oh, I hope so. Well, how are you going to do oh, that? Oh, excuse me, folks. I'm on. Wish me luck. Oh, we do wish you luck, Jason. And we'll keep our fingers crossed for you. Allow me to call to your attention this vast steel enclosure, which will soon be filled with wild beasts of the jungle. Introducing at this time, Jason. Unquestionably, the greatest wild animal trainer of all time. In an exhibition of man's skill and daring over primitive jungle beasts. Your attention, ladies and gentlemen. We now present the great Jason. <laughs> Well, there he goes. And here come the cats down the chute. No matter how many times I see Jason do his act, I, I still get a big thrill out of it. He sure is brave. Yeah, there's no doubt about that, Jerry. Oh, I just hope he isn't foolish. No, no, Patsy. Well, yeah. I don't care, Bumps. Sometimes I think he takes unnecessary chances. Now, let me ask you a question, Patsy. Your act is a pretty risky one, too, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. Well, it is. You don't have any fears about it. Flying around the top of that tent like a bird. Well, you do a dangerous turn there, Patsy. You sure do. Come, Daisy. No need. Come on, you. Hey, the lights. Oh. They went off again. Oh, oh, oh. oh there they go on again. Oh, that was a Come close on, call. Oh, oh, there they go out again. Oh, what in the world is wrong with those lights? Well, it doesn't look like they're coming back on this time. they got to come back on. Get some lanterns, somebody. Yeah, yeah, get some lanterns. Yeah, hurry up with them. Listen, I'll need those lions again. Bumps. Oh, Bumps, I wonder if Jason is all right. He won't be if those lights don't come on soon. Oh, 